Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Are you ready for cuteness and science together? Well, let's head out live to the Arizona Science Center and learn about their new exhibit, Dog, a Science Tell. And Siri, uh, I'll tell you, uh, we saw in the preview a cute little, uh, little doggy there, but this is really cool. Um, this exhibit, I am love because I'm reading about it, is that it is teaching us about the love that we have the dogs and the dogs that have love for us. What a great day to do that. So let's talk about the zip, how cool it is. You know, I can't help but think it's absolutely cool, and you nailed it. It's about the science of that puppy love that we have because dogs are more than just pets. They're part of our families, part of our communities. And dogs have been coming into the human world here now for, well, do you want to take a guess how long? I'm going to say probably since uh, B.C. Okay, so more than 15,000 years. Yes, so and uh, we have some recent research that says even more than 30,000 years, but it's not yet confirmed. But as you can tell, humans and dogs have had a relationship for thousands of years. Uh, so in this section, we talk all about that. Our guests can see what it's like to be an archaeologist work in a dig pit, uncovering. This is actually a simulated pit with a human and a dog buried about 15,000 years ago. Uh, they can learn about DNA and how scientists are studying dogs and that ancient history we have. But it's more than that, it's so much more. We cover all kinds of different science topics. Now, uh, can you guess what this might be over here? This is a, uh, <laughs> no, tell me it's not a sniffing. <laughs> you just didn't sniff the, <laughs> what in the world is that? It totally is. <laughs> Right, so most people think about dogs, okay? They've got this great sense of smell. It's how they learn about the world. So all throughout the exhibit in this section, we learn about how dogs smell, and you get to use your own sniffer. Uh, that one, just so you know, happens to be urine. That was kind of gross. I, yeah, I was going to um, say, but there's a couple different the ones. Fire, right? That was the fire hydrant, Siri. I mean, like, let's. So let me let me ask you, you while, while we're talking this, it is very interesting that we get to learn that dogs actually use their scent, you know, to smell, uh, to to recognize other dogs, recognize people and stuff. Um, but also to kind of like know their surroundings, which is kind of interesting, right? Absolutely. They learn about everything in their surroundings. So what's around them? How far away is it? Who's been here recently? Um, there's even some uh, science that's suggesting that's how they know uh, when folks are about to come home so dogs can tell time yeah. uh, because the scent starts to dissipate in the house and they expect a certain time of the day for the scent to go back up or it gets lower and they're like, oh, well, you know, the kids are going to come home from school pretty soon because that's their signal. Yeah. So it lots of science to be learned just from smell. Yeah, Siri, I do have to ask, who trains those dogs to sit so quietly and so peacefully right there? Is that you guys training them? <laughs> Yes, absolutely, 100%. Uh, but these dogs are just an example. When we can't have live dogs, of course, we have to have some dogs in here as exemplars, um, especially in this section as we're talking about the different breeds. We've got everything from, you know, how dogs see to be a scientist, but then how humans have started to select different breeds. So we wanted to have examples of those different breeds in the exhibition. Um, and humans have been selecting for things uh, even as far as, you know, how fast dogs are. Um, so. We've got a section where you can run here and test yourself against different dog speeds. Now, I'm not very fast, but I'll walk it. If you hit this Let's button, see. it'll say run, and yeah. then you can, ooh, <laughs> right? You can run through it and see how fast you can go. I only ran two miles an hour there, so um, I'm not very fast, not even as fast as the 11-year-old girl. Siri, Siri, does it teach us about people and the dogs they pick? Because why do like big guys like me pick small dogs and then little people kind of like go pick big dogs is it, is it does it tell us about that at all you know i don't know that it covers that exact thing but it's really personal and what we do cover is that science of cuteness so what you think is cute and what you connect to is very personal and in this exhibit here behind me um, over on this side, we go through that science of cuteness. So uh, relating that the imagery of dogs back to imagery of babies because, well, we are ingrained to protect and love the cuteness of babies, right? So this look that we get from puppies is very baby-like and you connect with that. So that science of cuteness plays a big part of our love for dogs. I love this exhibit and I think it's gonna teach a lot about people and also, as you said, learning about why, you know, the first rule when you get that dog, the dog's never gonna get on the bed, it's never gonna be on the couch, it's never gonna be any near the, you know, this and that. And then like a month later, the dog is sleeping with you, the dog is eating at the table with you, the dog is in the car, has its own car seats, everything like that. So I love this. Now, who do we have here? 
All right, so you know, you, you hit it with all those examples because this is my dog. This is Lunabelle. You might notice her from my t-shirt. This is how much I love my own dog. And in this section, of course, this is where we have our dog park. So we want to be able to showcase live dogs as often as we can. Luna's not interacting with the public, but um, she's just here to showcase that uh, we have our agility course here. We've got the stairs. We've got a space where we can have dogs and show what dogs can do from working dogs to agility dogs, um, even just to dogs that provide comfort. So this dog provides uh, a lot of love for me. So I, I was going to see if I could do some treats and tricks with her, but she seems to have found a ball <laughs> that she loves too. today. Siri, this is awesome. What a great exhibit. It's called Dog, a Science Tale at the Arizona Science Center. How long does it go till? All right, so this exhibit is here. It's on now through the end of April, and you can go online to azscience.org to find more information. All right, Siri, I love this. Uh, give the dog a treat. Let's see. You want a treat? Treat dog. There Let's we go. Let's see if she'll do it. Can you see there, that? Oh, maybe. Well, can I? <laughs> Could I get a paw? Yeah, she wouldn't even get up for that, but she'll there, give me the paw there for it. There it is. <laughs> Siri, thank you very much. So, what a cute exhibit. So, You're welcome.